DIY Army! Welcome back to Fashion Attack. My name is Mikal. This is the channel where we redo any sort of DIY. Fashion, interior design, runway pieces, we do it all. Today, we are gonna remake this chair in a decoupage. This means we're gonna cover it with paper, you can choose your own print, and also, you can do it directly on the chair, but I'm also gonna spray paint the bottom of it, so I'm gonna build it, but you can skip the step and directly go to the decoupage if that's what you wanna make. What you're gonna need is a brush, a pair of scissors, the Mod Podge, then in case you want to change also the color of the legs, a spray, and super important, a lac, with which we're gonna seal our entire work. Now, for the print, you can download them, you can use a napkin, or you can strip away images from a magazine. To be honest, you could totally spray the chair while it's still in shape, but this would mean that you have to wait for it to dry before starting the decoupage, and we don't want to wait for it. So just unbuild it and do the two steps up. About the print, I suggest you to just go ahead and cut out all the little borders and trims of the image that you want to stick on. If you leave it as a square or with this sharp edge, it's not going to look so pretty and so bonded all together on the chair. So just cut out all the edges. After that, we are going to have to decide the print that we want to make on the chair. So before sticking it, just test it on the area where you want to place it. I liked it like this with three images and then you go and cover completely the chair with a mod punch. Place the one first layer you want on the bottom and then again you can cover it even on the second layer on top when you arrive to the borders it's a super important step to do a lot of little cuts so that you can fold it easily on the back now while the front of the back of the chair is drying let's go and do the seating area I also added a little bit of white because I thought that the print was a bit too much and then covered it again with a Mod Podge went ahead and placed all the print added a little bit extra white also on the sides and then go ahead and cover completely and add more layers on top once and only once it's completely dry it's gonna take a long time you can go ahead and do over the back of the chair so we do the cuts fold it on itself wait for it to dry and here you see me doing the other side of the chair same identical thing very important guys do the holes where you are gonna have to pass your screws after I didn't do it on the seating area and it was so hard to do it so now let's go and fold in the most elegant way possible the little holes that we did so trying to make the less volume possible and then we're gonna go and apply completely the print all over the back we do not want or I did not want the print to go again on the front so in this case I trimmed completely the edges so that the little folds that I would do on the sides of the chair would go only on the external area and not go and cover all the way to the front again no let's spray it in this super cool bright blue I thought that the contrast would give it even an extra vibe to the chair and I love the final result and guys important tip Go and spray also the screws because we do not want the contrast in black to stand out. We want it to blend all in. One day later and we have everything completely dry. We have all the pieces Ugh. over here, bottom, top, and we have our screws that we painted in blue so they look even prettier. Let's assemble the entire chair and then we're gonna spray some lac on top to finish it and be sure that it's gonna last forever. The rebuilding of the chair that should be the easiest step was actually so hard because as I told you on the sitting I had not done the holes. So now I had to recreate them and guys believe me the paper becomes as solid as a rock. It was super hard to make them again and I almost risked ripping the print in the process. So guys do it earlier. If you forget as I do just try to do it with a sharp something. You see I'm going inside with this brush but actually then I'm pinching on the other side with a screwer and then finally I could build the chair back in. Once everything looks as you want it, it's time to protect our little piece of art and go and spray it with some lac to seal everything. Okay guys, the chair is done. I hope you had fun and I hope you're gonna try it. But before looking at the final result of the chair, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, tell me what you would have done differently and especially send me the pictures after you've done it. See you next time. Let's go watch the result. 